Here we have a demonstration video for Quiet Ride. First thing we'll take a look at is the PLC control shown here. This is the opening screen. Uh, from here we can go to our heat setup. Uh, shown here uh, is a diagram of the oven and uh, each one of these zones corresponds to uh, a zone within the oven itself. Uh, from here you can independently change zones by pressing into that zone. From this screen we can also do an overall uh, increase or decrease in increments of 5% by pressing here. And from here we can go to our main screen. Uh, at the main screen you can turn the heaters on and off by pressing this button here. We also have a timer. You can set your heat time duration here. Start cycle. You can prematurely end the cycle. Uh, you can also uh, save heat settings. So uh, let's say we're happy with the current heat settings that we're using. Uh, you can designate a number. We'll designate number five. And then save to job number five. If we load up job number two, or 12. It will change the heat settings to zero because there is no job on number 12. If we input number five, load from job five, it will reload the same settings that we had. We had everything set at 80%. Below the PLC, we have our uh, two control valve. This here is to control the table, up and down. To the right of the table valve, we have our vacuum release valve here. Releases vacuum into the vacuum box. In the rear electrical box, we have our vacuum pump switch to turn a vacuum pump on and off. Uh, if not actively using the machine, you want to make sure that the vacuum pump is turned off. Then on the left-hand side of the equipment, we have our pneumatic clamping uh, open and close valve. a complete dry cycle uh, of the machine. Uh, first thing you would do is insert the plastic into the frame, uh, close the clamping frame, roll the oven into position over the material to allow it to start heating. Uh, after the material is heated, you push the oven back, you raise the table into position, and you open the vacuum to form the part. Once the part's cooled, you close the vacuum and you lower the tool open the clamping frame and remove your part.
Okay, just do a quick walk around on the equipment. Uh, you can see the front here. We have a uh, safety enclosure. You want to leave this enclosure on while you're running the equipment. And uh, do not enter the machine for any reason during operation. Keep your hands clear of the clamps while operating the machine. You can see I've constructed a full-size box for this machine. Moving to the rear. Take a look at the oven layout. Uh, from here you can also see the vacuum pump and vacuum storage tanks. And rolling around to the other side here. We have our electrical panel, power distribution.